Well folks, here we are with a, uh, another mulberry tasting um, and this one is called uh, Giant Mulberry. I think I did a video on it last year maybe or the year before and uh, I was purchased in a garden centre and um, it kind of like an impulse buy, just seeing the label I thought I must have this. Now it being purchased from a garden centre um, you obviously don't know what you're going to get so this was a gamble but it's paid off. Um, it didn't produce any berries for me. Well, it did produce berries for me last year, but they fell off. But that said, there wasn't that many. It grew pretty well. Um, but then it got hit hard with spider mites last year, so I put it outside. Uh, and it's come back and it overwintered fairly well. There's no um, frost damage to it. And it's put out a ton of berries. Um, so this is not the... Uh, I've been e actually eating these uh, away in the last, I don't know, week or two. And uh, they're pretty good, pretty long. Uh, I don't know what variety this is. I don't think it's a Pakistani, although it could be wrong. Uh, I suspect it's probably more of a Morris Alba type. Uh, but these berries are very, very nice. Um, very sweet. Um, very, very sweet. They almost have that packiness, or sorry, Pakistani spiciness to them. If that makes sense. Uh, if you ever eaten a Pakistani, you know that they have this mulberry um um almost smoky um chili flavor to them mixed in with that sweetness but uh, they are very very good i have to say and none of these are dropping uh, which is spectacular um but very very sweet um the plant itself is definitely root bound i need to pot this up or put it in the ground but um yeah very very nice i'm very happy with this now um I'll probably take cuttings off this and graft them to a few other rootstocks just to have some uh, some other ones. But uh, yeah, very, very, very nice. And uh, yeah, an absolute winner. It was in gamble, but it paid off. And uh, you have some spectacularly, spectacularly uh, well-tasting varieties. So I've been eating them kind of slightly immature because I just can't help myself. Here's a fully ripe one. Um, but yeah, excellent. And I'll just show you my King White here. Um, so this started to drop, or actually both my King Whites uh, began to drop a lot of their fruit earlier on this year. Um, but it turns out that that's something that uh, Pakistanis do. Uh, and there's a lady in Florida that I, um, that, uh, well sorry, just to backtrack, I put a post out on a mulberry group and a lady from Florida piped up who grows a lot of Pakistanis and said that most of hers drop their fruits. That she probably gets about 30 to 40% of hers. So this is looking like it's... Um, doing as she said so it's, it's hanging on to a reasonable amount of its fruit not all of it um but i have to say they are some of these are unbelievably uh spectacular tasting um really really sweet flavor is absolutely outstanding it's almost like a tropical punch flavor too they are really really good i can understand why um king whites or white pakistanis are held in very high regards they are really 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 amazing tasting you know that's not to say that every single one of them tastes good depends on when you pick it some of them are, are really good but or some of them when you get a good one it's absolutely outstanding up there are some of the best fruits i've ever ever eaten but um yeah that's my uh, king white and this is my giant mulberry possibly a pakistani possibly a marsalba but uh that's how she's looking at the moment take it easy guys